Hello everybody, I want to show this video 10 simple tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Tab A in the version of 2019. So the first one I want to show you is if you want to take a picture. Huh? Then uh, if we are going to the camera here, as you know, we have also a timer in here. So maybe if you want to take a group picture and so on and so on and don't want to make a selfie with that uh, camera uh, because the real camera is much better, then you have here a timer. If you go on the timer in the middle here, you can set up some seconds. May let us take two seconds here, that I can show you it better. And if I'm now taking a picture, it takes two, one, two seconds. Huh? Uh, yeah, so a very nice feature um, to, um, yeah, to prepare a bit better uh, if you're taking a picture. And the second thing I want to show you is the night mode, because uh, in the night, uh, our eyes can have stress if they see two bright screens and so on and so on. And the night mode, let me show you, scroll down for it, scroll down a second time, and then you fear the night mode. If you enable it, um, the screen is turning into black and that is much more friendly to our eyes, especially in the night. So, and next to it saves a lot of energy. So, because, um, the screen is dark and so on and so on. Let me show you it also in the settings. So because the basic, uh, the, the basic screen is still colorful, but in the uh, settings and so on and so on, which one are normally white, um, you have it now in black. So it is not that bright for the eyes in the night. And uh, yeah, if you're going here in the settings on display, you have here again the night mode. And if you enter that night mode here, you have now the opportunity to chat you it. No? So because if you chat you it, then um, you can uh, set it up from sunset to sunrise or give it, or give a starting time and an end time uh, because uh, then it turns on always automatically and you don't have to think about so you receive energy automatically and you will give your eyes less stress um, at night. And um, yeah, let me off it first here to show you the next point, because the next points will support also that feature, because uh, in the night uh, our eyes receive stress from the white scenes, but also uh, we have also stress for the, with the blue light. Because if you're using your smartphone before you want to go to sleep, um, your eyes uh, feel more awake and it's difficult to sleep in. So uh, Samsung creates a, a blue light filter. And if you want to reduce the blue light to sleep better after, um, you're using your smartphone, so just enable it like this, scroll down, scroll down a second time, and here we have the blue light filter, and as you can see, the, uh, the uh, uh, tablet is turning into a more warm color, and that blue light filter um, save also your eyes, be, uh, they, they feel more relaxed, and so on and so on, and it's much more easier to sleep after. So you can try it, and you may leave me a comment if it works better at you. And the next thing I want to show you is how to take a screenshot. So for taking a screenshot, use the power button and the volume down button and you will have a screenshot. One more time, the power button and the volume down button for the same time and you will have a screenshot. Sometimes the auto rotation is disturbing, but it doesn't matter um, because you can use also the palm to swipe um, across the screen um, like this. So one more time. Swipe across the screen, and it works also if you have the tablet like this. You can also swipe across the screen, but it requires a bit of training, and then you have also a screenshot. And uh, yeah, this feature you have to enable it uh, on the settings. Then uh, we need the point uh, advanced features, then motion and gestures, and then here yeah, this palm swipe to capture. It has to be enabled and here you have another instruction how it works and uh, yeah after you find the pictures of course at the gallery here they are and as you could see i had already some twice and yes the next one i want to show you is the storage cleaner because uh maybe you have two less storage no and um you need a bit more space on this internal storage, so just scroll down to go here to the settings. And then we need the point device care. And then we have here the point storage. So, and we are able to clean now 
Um, 42 megabytes is not that much because I haven't used um, the tablet for so long. Uh, but if you use it maybe for one or two years, I think there's a lot to, uh, to clean and you can save a lot of memory on your internal storage. Okay, and at the next point, we need that three lines here because uh, here you will have your recent open tabs and so on and so on. And may if you want to do something next to, you can choose maybe here this gallery. And if you want to split the screen, hold the symbol here above the tab. And now you can open it in a pop-up view or you can open it in a split screen view. And then it will take just the half of the screen. And then you uh, choose maybe another point. Maybe let's choose the camera. The camera will be now below our gallery. So you have split the screen. It's a good thing for the tablet because the tablet is big and it will um, allows you to yeah to uh, do many times uh, to <laughs> do many stuff at the same time. Uh, yeah, if you want to uh, change the position, you can do it like this. Then uh, my camera is a bit smaller. Otherwise, if I need a bit more of my camera. You can make also the gallery smaller um, and if you want to close it just go down and i just have opened now my gallery um, at its own okay the next point is something very nice for children because if you have children um, you want to save them from bad stuff in the internet and so on and so on so let me show you what i mean scroll down here scroll down a second time and here we have now the point kids home. Let's tap it. And if you're going there for this first time, you have a quick start here. And it will download some stuff. Okay, we'll be soon soon finished. Uh, may you have that uh, kids home already installed on your tablet. Then um, everything is okay. And now we are here on the kids home. So welcome. Next. So now you can download uh, some apps, maybe like uh, a voice recorder or like a browser, the gallery, the camera. Okay, I have downloaded now some apps and uh, maybe let's uh, go to the picture section first because uh, the kids can take some pictures. And uh, first of all, you have to allow that the camera have access, that the microphone have access and so on. And um, yeah. This camera is completely um, separated from the main cam. If uh, you want to give the tablet, which one you use your family as well, and go regularly to the internet and so on. If you use it just regularly, you can just open the kids home and taking, and the kid can take some pictures and the kid have also his own gallery here. Now, as you can see here, I have just here my pictures of my arm and not the other pictures you have seen before in the regular um, gallery. So this is a place for the children. Uh, may if you want to give the tablet to your child and that he don't use the other stuff on the tablet. So a very nice mode. And you can set up a pin as well uh, if you don't want that the child is going uh, out of this mode. And um, yeah, so very nice feature. And also the browser is very nice because uh, the child is not allowed to go just to the internet and uh, choose the site by its own. No, you can give the child some uh, websites and they're only allowed to go to that website. Now you can add some websites here. Let's go back here. And uh, yeah, then of course you have also some other apps like uh, some games, here, a cute one in the house and so on and so on, which I can play with. And also voice recording stuff. Um, things uh, to sing here a bit um, and uh, I should uh, sound different here after and yeah I can sing like him and so on and so on and so on and uh, yeah a very cute thing and um, so the child can do many here in that area and if you want to go back to the regular mode just go here and you're back in the regular mode and uh, if you have set it up a pin before, then uh, the child have to enter or you have to enter at first the pin to have access to the regular thing. 
Yeah, the pin you haven't seen yet, uh, but basically at the beginning, if you install the kids home, you can enter a pin and so on and so on. So this has been a very nice mode for the kids. And there's also something for us, for the grown up, for the grow ups. Um, uh, because uh, we are also, if we are honest to ourselves, uh, we are also too often on, on the tablet or on the smartphone and so on. And something, Samsung creates something named digital well-being uh, that we take a bit care more of us. So let's go to the settings. Let me show you what I mean. And we have here the point digital well-being. So first of all, we have some statistics, which apps we have used and how many minutes we are already at in total uh, on the tablet. And um, yeah, we can uh, wind it down also. A wind down is something to turn the tablet in a gray color and so on and so on. And um, so that I have... Uh, I'm uh, not really interested to watching a movie because it's uh, everything is in black and white here. Okay, it's also a nice tool if you want to give it to your child. And of course, you can set up also a pin here to uh, that your child cannot change uh, that stuff. Uh, because the next point at the dash point is also very um, interesting because you can give a limit to some apps. Maybe if you don't want that your child is using too much or one of these games here, then you can set up a time, maybe a day, just 50 minutes. And if these 50 minutes are over that day, um, the app will immediately stop and the child cannot open these apps um, uh, the whole day again. So you have to wait for the next day. So a very nice tool here. Of course, you can give him more than uh, 15 minutes. You can customize it as well. Um, but a very nice feature made to control the child's. Yeah, the next point is for the people who cannot see so well anymore. Um, and uh, there's an opportunity to make the screen a bit bigger, to use the full screen um, for that. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. Let's go to the settings first. Then we need to go to the point display. And here's the point screen zoom. So as example, they have used here at Samsung um, a text conversation. So if I zoom now more in, then you see the screen uh, becomes bigger. And if I go now back to the main screen, you will see that also uh, uh, the words became a bit bigger and so on and so on. It's a bit better to see. And yeah, let's come to the last point. Uh, maybe if you're getting older, you have uh, problems to hear well again. And Samsung creates something for the headphones um, to change the sound a bit. And maybe you can try it at home by your own. Uh, so let me show you how you can belong there. So just go to the settings like this, as you know, then go on sound. Then go here on advanced sound settings. Then here on sound quality and effects. And here we have the point adapt sounds. And uh, this is very, very nice too because uh, we can have a default settings and we can have here uh, under 30 years old settings. If we enter that real there for the settings, you can have a preview. Um, but just if you have connected your headphones and so on and so on, and you can change also um, to 30 to 60. And the same with this one, what I meant with over 60 years old, because then this um, will change and you will hear better. And really, if you, if, you, if you want to test it, you will really hear that different sounds. So a very nice tool of Samsung to um, give also for your age a better sound. Yeah, hope I could help you with this video and show you something new maybe on your Samsung tablet. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something. It would be very, very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And yeah, of course, did also some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me. Uh, it would be a pleasure to see you again. And maybe until next time. Ciao.